Welcome to our lecture online. Just so we can gain a better conceptual understanding of what convection does to heat transfer, like, let's say through a window, let's now change the heat transmission constants from 20 to 10 watts per square meter per centigrade degree on the outside and from 10 to 5 watts per square meter per centigrade degree on the inside. Again, those are well within the norm values. And let's see what that does. Remember, on the previous problem, we had the amount of heat traveling to the window equal to 128 watts. That's 128 joules per second. So what does it do when we change those con convection constants or heat transition constants because of convection? All right, let's go ahead and calculate the same result again. Q dot, the heat flow, is going to be equal to the change in the temperature, which is still 20 centigrade degrees, divided by 1 over, now on the inside, instead of 10, we're going to use 5, and the cross-sectional area is 1, plus the path through the window is 0 0.005 meters, that's centimeters converted to meters, the constant is 0 0.8 for glass, and it's still 1 square meter in area, plus 1 over, now the the uh, transmission constant is going to be t uh, 10 on the, on the outside, and the cross-sectional area is equal to 1. So let's go ahead and write these values down, these intermediate values. So that's going to be 1 over 5, which is going to be uh, 0 0.2. Let me try it again. 0 0.2 plus, this was 0 0.00625, if I remember correctly from the previous video, and this is equal to 0 0.1. So these two values now have changed. They've become larger. And remember, those are the heat resistances to the flow of heat. If those go up, we'll have a smaller heat flow through the window. Now, nothing has changed at the window itself, but everything has changed on the outside and the inside because of the convection currents. So that'll give us uh, 0.3 plus 0 0.00625. Take the inverse and multiply times 20, and we get 65. Round it off. So Q dot is equal to 65 watts, and that was compared to 128 watts when the values were double. So in other words, it's virtually half. Because the window itself, the window pane itself, there's almost no change that way. Every, the change is almost exactly double, or in this case, half the heat transfer, because we reduced the transfer coefficients due to convection to half. So the transfer coefficients is where it's at. The convection currents really control the amount of heat flowing to the window. Very little is controlled by the window pane itself. Now, what we will do in the future also is we'll do another example where we have a double pane window with air inside to see if that makes a large difference now when we deal with heat loss through a window. And you'll see that, yes, it does make a difference, and especially if there's a lot of wind outside because then the convection currents are such that much more heat is drawn away from the window. But again, we'll show you all those examples later. We'll do it one step at a time, and this is what we see when we simply change the heat transmission constants on the outside and the inside, and that is how it's done.